Yo, what's up everyone, Purple G here, and welcome back to another tier list video. So, in the previous tier list video that hopefully you guys enjoyed, I'm recording them consecutively, so I don't know if, you know, if you guys actually like these kinds of videos. But, you know, if you don't like them or you do like them, then let me know in the comments down below. But last time, I did Pokemon games, so in favor of, you know, other video game series that I des that I definitely do enjoy, I decided to go with Mario Kart. So as you can see from, you know, all the Mario Kart uh, content that I do, I do enjoy Mario Kart quite a bit. So without further ado, let's get right into ranking how I feel about all the Mario Kart games. So first things first, we are going to take this game right here, Mario Kart DS, and put it right here in an easy S tier. I definitely do have some, you know, nostalgic feelings to this game because you know of the fact that you know this is the mario kart that i grew up with but this this game is honestly revolutionary and it's honestly the greatest game ever like you got the mission mode you got the single player battle mode that had the greatest battle mode track of all time that being block fort it had amazing maps for the battle mode it had amazing creative tracks it had amazing creative characters like rob it had like waluigi it had amazing like multiplayer like with the other portable mario kart mario kart super circuit you had to have like a link cable and everybody you played with pretty much had to have the game or else it was kind of unfun. With Mario Kart DS, you know, you can pretty much have one player and then you could, you know, get on. You have all the access, you have all the access to battle mode, like, you have, it's honestly an amazing game. And it's honestly just, you know, out of, out of all the Mario Karts, pro ideally and most people's favorite Mario Kart out of the entire series. So moving on, we're going to go on to the first one in line right here, Mario Kart 64. So... I'd say I'd say I put it in you know in a, in a beat tier. I'd say I'd say it's a pretty solid Mario Kart at the time. It was revolutionary because it changed you know from the flat tracks that were you know from Mario from Super Mario Kart and made you know 3D tracks. It it changed it changed a lot of things. It had you know a cool battle mode thing. It, it was a really 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 solid Mario Kart. So now we're going to move on to Mario Kart 8 slash Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I'd say that you know they're kind of they're kind of the same game, but there are some differences. I think. I think Mario Kart 8 goes into like a low B tier slash high C tier. I think for the time being, we'll just put it in C tier and we'll move on from there. And Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, I'd say, you know, it's a... Uh, what do I say? I think... Mm, okay, I think we'll leave it in A tier as well. Okay, so Mario Kart 8. So first things first, there is a lot of good things about Mario Kart 8, but there are a lot of bad things. The battle mode was absolutely horrible in Mario Kart 8. And like, Nintendo pretty much tried to say that it was, you know, not even non-existent when they revealed Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. But there were a lot of good things. There was, like, the addition of anti-gravity, you know, which is which is kind of cool. But, you know, compared to, like, driving underwater and gliders in Mario Kart 7. And before that, wheelies and bikes in Mario Kart Wii. Like, it didn't change too much. It kind of added anti-gravity, and, you know, that was kind of it. It had DLC, which is pretty cool. It added, you know, characters that weren't Mario characters, like Link, the villagers from Animal Crossing. You know, it added it added a lot of different things that, you know, were hopefully a uh, good, good uh, improvement for the series in general. And then, of course, we have Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I think Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is, you know, definitely what the title implies. It's a deluxe version of Mario Kart 8. It's a pretty, it's a pretty solid game, you know. It changed a lot of things. It added some new things, like, you know, the battle mode being changed. It added ultra mini turbos, which is, you know, is a little bit of change of pace, which is pretty cool. It basically took Mario Kart 8 as is and redefined all the mechanics slash improved on them better. So those are, you know, those are my thoughts on the games. Next up, we got ourselves Mario Kart 7. So Mario Kart 7, I'd say that's a pretty, that's a pretty good A tier. Once again, I do have some, you know, nostalgia goggles uh, covering my face, as you know, this game is, you know, I definitely, I definitely played through this game a lot, you know, I have, like, a ton of hours put into this game across, you know, uh, very, many versions of the uh, 3DS lineup. I mean, it's a very good Mario Kart, but I don't know, I'd say maybe low A tier for Mario Kart 7. Moving on, Mario Kart Double Dash, alright, so that is an easy A tier, easy like high A tier, I don't say it's an S tier. But I do say it's like a definitely easy A tier by far. So Double Dash is definitely something that people really want to see again. People want to see, you know, the Double Dash mode come back to the Mario Kart series, myself included. Because, you know, it was an amazing, like, you know, change of pace from the series as a whole. It changed a whole lot of things. It added cool tracks. It had the All Cup Tour. It had, you know, new characters that were introduced that we haven't seen again, like PD Piranha. We haven't seen Paratroopa back yet. It added, you know, a ton of things. The battle mode was pretty cool. It added things like, you know, Bomb on Blast. It had special items were admittedly a little bit annoying, but added, you know, new items to the lineup, like the giant banana 
It had the Bowser shell. It was a big, you know, improvement on the series, and, you know, it definitely, you know, made the series, you know, kind of what it is today. And next up, we got Mario Kart Super Circuit. So, you know, I am going to get, you know, a lot of, you know, a lot of hate for this, but I'd say that Mario Kart Super Circuit is a B tier. Now, obviously, Super Circuit is on a very, very inferior console, that being the Game Boy Advance. But for the Game Boy Advance, especially for the time, it's a very, very solid Mario Kart. You know, it added... Compared to Super Mario Kart that had, you know, like, unoriginal tracks, or at least mildly unoriginal, it had pretty generic tracks like Choco Island, Mario Circuit, Vanilla Lake, like, they were all just, like, the same track over and over again, but with a number at the end of it. Super Circuit, however, it had pretty original tracks, and, you know, it was honestly a pretty solid Mario Kart game. Despite all the backlash, you know, it does kind of get, and kind of does deserve. Moving on, Mario Kart Wii. So, yeah, this is, uh, this is 100% easy S tier. Once again, a little bit of nostalgia coming into play, but Mario Kart Wii is honestly revolutionary, and the fact that, you know, the community that was built up by Mario Kart Wii is, you know, still alive today, as there's, you know, obviously, like, you know, WiiMFi, which allows you to play the, you know, Mario Kart Wii Online once again. It has Custom Track Grand Prix, or CGGP, which is, you know, an amazing, amazing mod pack that I definitely do recommend, you know, hint, hint, wink, wink, that everybody, you know, definitely should try or at least get at one point in time. You know, it's amazing that, you know, the Mario Kart Wii, it's definitely an amazing game and definitely did change a lot of things compared to, you know, the previous game, that being Mario Kart DS. It added things like bikes, it added things like wheelies, it had an amazing character lineup, you know, it had characters like Funky Kong, Birdo, you know, characters that, you know, were completely changed, completely distant, you know, from the Mario Kart series. And, you know, it was an honestly a really solid path for the Mario Kart series, you know, to revolutionize it too, simply because, you know, obviously... The Wii was, you know, unextraordinarily popular, so, you know, who, who didn't really own Mario Kart Wii? Moving on, we have Super Mario Kart, so, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that, you know, it's, a uh, nothing, nothing special. I mean, it's a very, it's a good introduction to the series, but as a game, if you look at Super Mario Kart, like, by itself, like, as a game, not as a series, but as a game, it's honestly, you know, a good idea, obviously, but it is not that fun to play, you know, the mechanics are, you know, kind of bland to kind of bad. The drifting is slippery, the tracks are kind of unoriginal, the battle mode is literally unoriginal because it's just battle course with numbers 1 through 4. It's, you know, but honestly, you know, it's it's not bad. It's not bad, but it's certainly not great either. So next up, we have all of these games, the spin-off, we got the arcade games, we got Mario Kart Tour, which hasn't even released yet. Well, at least the full game hasn't released yet, only the beta. So we're just going to say that, you know, Mario Kart, we're just going to say... I'm just gonna say that all of these, you know, are mildly solid games. You know, they're arcade games. They serve the purpose of Mario Kart, but, you know, honestly, actually, hold on. We're just gonna revive this. I'd say that, you know, these games are, you know, a solid, a high, a high C tier, no B tier by any means. But they are, you know, they're pretty solid Mario Kart games for, you know, the consoles or at least the arcade machines that they are built. And that leaves us with Mario Kart VR and Mario Kart Tour. I haven't played Mario Kart VR, so we're gonna leave that out. And I haven't played Mario Kart Tour, so we're also gonna leave that out. Because, you know, I want to give the games, you know, a fair shot because, you know, if I haven't played them, I can't accurately say what my opinions are on them. So, you know, we're just going to leave those down here for the time being. That is the complete tier list of the Mario Kart games. So, as you can see, you know, my, as you can see, you got some easy S tiers up here. We got, so we got, we got quite the mix, you know, a lot of, a lot of games in C tier. And, you know, not that many in B tier, so, you know, I'm surprised by that. I was expecting a lot more in B tier. But anyways, so if you guys want to try this out and, you know, make a Mario Kart games tier list for yourself, then I'll leave the link for this uh, website in the description down below so you guys can, you know, go check that out. And, you know, hopefully you guys do enjoy these kinds of videos. If you guys do enjoy them or don't enjoy them, then let me know in the comments down below. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy, then feel free to leave this video a like, maybe even a comment, and if you really wanted to, you can even subscribe to be notified of when future videos come out. And that is all I have for now. So I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Bye.